believe that when you when you start thinking about the cherry blossoms, when you hear about snow coming this time of year, uh, ABC 7's Richard Reeve is at the Tidal Basin. And Richard, it was a bit warmer today for people checking out the trees. Candace, it is a beautiful day out here on the Tidal Basin. A little chilly out here, though, and i got to show you. Take a look at the uh, cherry blossoms right now, and they're really just buds. Mother Nature right now on her own timetable. They are Washington's wildly popular springtime attraction. It's the beginning of spring. It's the beginning of hope for the new year. But this year, Mother Nature has forced a delay. We are having an excellent time, even though the blossoms aren't out. The district's 3,700 cherry trees are still in the bud stage, not expected to peak until April 3rd. Just been too cold, and that's all it is. Hopefully next week, they'll be out for everybody at the end of the festival. Opening ceremonies for this year's Cherry Blossom Festival, expected to host a million visitors between March 20th and April 14th, are being held Saturday. We haven't seen a cherry blossom, though. Not one. <laughs> Melinda Welsh, with her family from Norfolk, says she's a bit disappointed the blossoms weren't further along, but she says she'll be back. I love the blossoms. I'm here for the flowers, and I'm here to take photographs. Still, this gift from the mayor of Tokyo 101 years ago has the power to mesmerize and amaze. When they get bigger, and when they puff, and when they're in their full bloom. Annette Cremo was here last year when temperatures were in the 70s. I came down here on the same day, and it was absolutely ex exquisite. All It looked like cotton puffs all around the, the tidal basin. And maybe, just maybe, these buds symbolize a kind of hope for the future. This is the first thing that's going to get us going through the rest of the summer and the fall and, of course, the winter to come. And take another look at those buds there. They really do look like they're about to pop. Now, even though we've been told that the peak starts on April 3rd, uh, we're also told that you'll probably be able to see some blossoms in the days before that. I guess we're all just going to have to have a little more patience. Live in southwest Washington, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. Well,